In this video, we will see how we can make a conceptual design of a coastal villa integrated within the rocky landscape, inspired by anteriority. This will cover how we can create spiral curve from points, then we will add rectangular profile over it, and we add detail by giving thickness for each profile to make them 3D. Without further ado, let's start to the tutorial. We will start by adding point polar component. This allows us to create point based on polar coordinate. Connect a range of numbers into radius input. This will generate a set of points based on radius values. By default, the domain is set to 0 to 1. So we will create new domain and connect to domain. The number of point will be same as the range count. The X line angle for each point will then be specified using the same node arrangement. As you see here, the X I angle must be specified in radians. So we set the domain in pi format. Two pi mean one full spiral. With the same principle, we apply the same node setup into Z angle. This will increase the height of the point gradually by rotating. Next, those points will be moved upward. To do so, simply create a point and use it as a new XLA plane. Using list item, select the first and last item. The index will be minus one and zero. Now in each point, we will create two vertical lines in opposite direction. So that I use line SDL component, to set opposite direction, merge vector Z with its negative. By using interpolate curve component, create a curve based on those point. Next, we will create blend between those curves. First, we will create gap between them. Use extend curve with negative value to reduce curve at start and end. Next, we will use Blend Curve component to blend those curve together. Here we have two lines, but we only have one spiral curve. So to match the list length, duplicate the spiral by merging with itself. I will flip the second one, so the direction will match. Flip the lines to match the blending direction. Next, we place rectangular profile on this curve. First, using perpendicular frames component, we will create planes on the curve. On these planes, we will place rectangular profile.
To visualize the orientation of the profile, I will loft them. We need to rotate each plane to get diamond-like profile, so I will use Rotate Plane Component. Next, we will give thickness to each profile. First, we will offset them in both sides. Then, we will split the, the curve at the corners. I use Evaluate Curve component to visualize the splitting location. To get pointed start and ending of the curve, I will use expression 1 minus x. Next, we will place similar segment from both curve into one branch. To do that, we will flip each 12 items to their previous branch. We use flip last component to do so. Now we have two items in each branch. We create surface by lofting. We will apply the same process to reverse the data structure. Next, we will select the surfaces that place near to the corners. To do that, we will call out the surface that have index of 1, 4, 7, and 10. To get invert selection, use list item and provide the same index. Next, join the surfaces using Brep Join component. This will join the surface that close to each other. By using Flip Matrix, we will flip the data structure into four branches and 98 item in each. Extract the boundary curves and create loft. Close the surface using cap component. Give thickness for the remaining surface using offset surface component.
This is the final result. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Support this channel by becoming Patreon supporter. With that, you will access to all final project files.